Glad to see everybody still around. This is Introduction to Programming using C++. I sound like a radio host. Welcome to Introduction to Programming using C++. Today we're going to play String Input. Well, what I'm going to go over today is String Input, actually, without all joking aside. As I taught you before, there is the CN, which we talked about er in the earlier lectures, to read in input. One of the problems with that is, is that if you're doing any type of string input, it's going to mess up your data. And I'll show you how. Say you have the following. Say you have uh, int number and then char and then name 21. And I have 21 characters. But as you know, you really have 20 because of the uh, null null terminator if you type in a name with a space on it it's actually gonna ignore that space because it thinks is a delimiter so for example let's say I say see out please enter your full name and I say see in as I would usually do and say name you're uh, able to read data in as a name and I can say please enter your full name just as the first example I can say okay I'm gonna write out Alex and you're fine um, let me actually write that out see out name name typed in So please enter your full name if somebody enters just Alex and then you can say name typed in is Alex and that's fine. Now what if we were doing two outputs meaning I mean two inputs so and then they would you would have them say please enter a number and you prompt them to enter a number and you can say number typed in okay this is where the problem lies so if I run this oops what is wrong here something's wrong oh I get rid of the um, double quotes so let me do that okay so if I enter my full name it doesn't prompt me to enter a number anymore why because when you enter a space the C in object and the extraction operator think that Louis is a second input it what's gonna happen is it's gonna say oh I know that this is a delimiter so I can read Louis into number and that's what's gonna happen and that's exactly what happened it said I'm gonna read name uh, Alex into name which is why it said name typed in is Alex and for the second input we're getting gibberish which is two which is not really anything I typed in uh, and you saw you saw how it ran right through the whole line it didn't even prompt me to enter a number so the problem with CN is that if you're using any type of string input with the character array data type it's always going to give you an issue if you're trying to do two inputs in a row with the first input being any type of input with a space on it the f the solution for that is is using the get line and the get line will ensure that it's not gonna skip any characters in terms of spaces or delimiters so for example let me let me actually do a quick example if I type in name right um, let's do the following we're gonna do a CN dot get line and we can say the size of 
name, and I'll just explain to you in a minute what that is. Minus one. So what this is saying is it's saying get me the line that you just printed, that you just typed in, and get me the actual size of what you want read in. The size of name is about whatever characters that you're typing in, minus one, so you really have zero to twenty. Okay, because remember the null terminator. So now if we do this, you're going to see something very surprising. There you go. So you see how now it read everything into name. Because of the cn.get line, now it doesn't, doesn't even think twice about the white space delimiter because of the get line function. And then now I can put in a number. 20 and there you go. His name typed in is Alex Louis and then the number typed in is 20. So the magic lies in this cn.getLine function which allows you to actually read in string input with spaces on it. Even if I type in you know John F Kennedy and then I type in 20 there you go. So I have even though I have two spaces read it and skip it and put the F in number it just said okay because I'm using the get line function I'm gonna read John F Kennedy into my variable called name uh, and it's right it's reading in the size of the actual variable uh, in and that's what get line it has two parameters so the first parameter is the actual as you see here is the actual character variable name which in our case is name and this is something called this uh, let me see if I do space it's not doing it now but I just wanted to see uh, yeah I wanted you to see that it usually highlights it but this is going to be the size of what you're reading in uh, and you have to do minus one because when you declare a character array with 21 bytes, which is 21 characters, you're really going to be doing the, actually the null terminator, it still stays there, but you're going from 0 to 20, because you start from 0, and then you end at 20, which you still have 21. Okay? But remember, you're, you're doing a, a array allocation, which starts from 0, and ends at 20 and then in total you have uh, 21 so that's it for this lesson and I hope this would help you in your assignment so that if you find yourself trying to read in a name with a space this will help you in getting past that because now with the get line it'll allow you to read in any names with a space and then you can actually read uh, input after that and it won't cause you a problem. Thanks for listening and I hope to see you on the next lecture.